So, bad news for PlayStation owners, as reports suggest, Activision games may be Game Pass exclusives. Um, really, what this comes down, to, they're probably going to talk about this in the article. But I mean, TLDR: if you didn't know, when the um, you know, the news came out at the beginning of last year that Microsoft had agreed in principle to buy Activision Blizzard, you know, and the first 10 year deal they offered was to PlayStation. Uh, and we all know that PlayStation shot that 10 year deal down, right? Because they, they were posturing to make it look anti-competitive. Um, but now we know that Microsoft has completed almost all these hurdles needed to get this acquisition done. They've given all these other 10 year deals out to these other companies. And now Sony has also agreed to their own 10 year deal. The difference being right the difference being that this deal that PlayStation agreed to, there's a, a significant difference between the deal that they were being offered in the first place. In that this deal is strictly and solely for Call of Duty to be on their platform for the next 10 years. As opposed to the initial 10-year deal, which was being offered. We've even seen the email transcripts of it where uh, PlayStation was being offered to have their traditional Activision titles, you know, things like Tony Hawk, uh, Crash, stuff like that, um, to continue to be on their platform. But they shut that down. And so now that Microsoft is fulfilling this, you know, acquisition, they went back and were like, oh, I mean, do you want a 10 year deal now? but it'll only be for Call of Duty. And Sony basically had to be like, yeah, <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> but that's basically when, what went down. And if you didn't know, that basically means that uh, unless PlayStation's willing to probably sign a deal that would not be great for them and would be much better for Microsoft, you're not going to see those uh, traditional Activision titles on PlayStation anymore. They're going to be on Xbox. They're going to be on Game Pass. They're going to be on PC. They're not going to be on PlayStation anymore. You know? So, um, we'll read this real quick, but that's probably what the gist of this is going to talk about, okay? So, bad news for PlayStation owners. Reports suggest Activision games may be Game Pass exclusives. Um, If you're a fan of Sony PlayStation, you might want to brace for Activision games waves to hit. You've been following recent news with Microsoft. The Federal Trade Commission's case against the company was trying to prevent its acquisition of Activision Blizzard. However, the latest court has ruled the government will not be allowed to block the $69 billion transaction between the two companies. Due to these events, major changes are coming to the gaming industry. Gamers have already seen a deal between uh, Sony and Microsoft to keep the biggest Activision game, Call of Duty, on PlayStation for the next 10 years. Like I said, this was the deal that they finally, as Sony finally caved and was like, yeah, we'll take it. Now, it appears a new drama may be realized in the form of exclusive Xbox Game Pass titles. That's right. If you are a PlayStation fan who loves Activision games, Game Pass may be the only cloud streaming service to host the company's titles. This means members of the PlayStation Plus subscription service may not be able to stream these games in the near future. Although there will certainly be more agreements to keep Activision games on PlayStation, right? That's what it would take. They may never be streamable outside of Game Pass again. This is important for Microsoft Xbox, especially since reports have shown Game Pass is one of the key programs keeping the console so successful. Well, yeah, it, we know that, right? I mean, this is uh, one of the reasons that Sony didn't want this acquisition to take place. Xbox has had to be creative and, and very inventive to remain competitive in the uh, console gaming industry, especially when it comes to their their competition with between themselves and PlayStation. A PlayStation's always been head and shoulders above them. And PlayStation's always just been able to sit back and sell hardware and software, first party software. And, and Sony didn't want things to change, but they knew that this acquisition would change things, right? And the thing that Xbox has had to do was they came up with like subscription services, things of that nature, streaming services. And uh, they don't, if you didn't know this, they literally make no money off their hardware, their consoles. They, uh, I think they, they might make like 20 bucks off uh, each 
twenty dollars US off of each uh, Series X, something to that effect. And I think they actually either break even or even lose a little bit of money on each Series S that they sell. They've always been like that, though. And they've always been outsold uh, hardware-wise by about double from PlayStation. You know, We're not even talking about Nintendo in this mix, right? Um, in fact, of the three available tiers, uh, 70 is so basically what that comes down to is Game Pass, their subscription service for Xbox, that's their golden goose, man. That's how they've remained competitive. Uh, of the three available tiers, 70 to 80% of players are subscribed to Game Pass Ultimate, which is the highly, highest possible option. An exclusive streaming tactic with Activision Games could mean even more revenue flow in an area Microsoft relies on heavily for Xbox to thrive. Um, if you're curious about the source indicating Activision Games could become exclusive to Game Pass, the information actually comes from a report by the European Commission. The document in particular talks about regulation of the Microsoft and Activision Blizzard merger procedure. Page 161 of the document explains the following. The commission reiterates that post-transaction Activision Blizzard games will likely be included in Game Pass Ultimate only, as opposed to and to the exclusion of other providers of cloud game streaming, enhancing the importance of Game Pass Ultimate significantly also via V non-Windows operating systems. This language uh, tends to indicate PlayStation Plus uh, will suffer the loss of Activision, Act, Activision excuse me, games content in the future. This could somewhat cripple the Sony subscription service when it comes to offering a wide variety of catalog games. The most significant Activision games include Tony Hawk Pro Skater, Spyro, Crash Bandicoot, Call of Duty, and Sekiro. If all these become exclusive to Xbox Game Pass for cloud streaming, it will have a major impact on fans of those franchises. Although Microsoft came to an agreement with PlayStation over Call of Duty, the Xbox producer is determined to comp compete with other gaming systems. This means Activision games could become more exclusive, covering more than Game Pass. It is uh, very possible in the near future most Activision titles will be exclusive to the Xbox. If this occurs, it will provide an advantage Microsoft has not had in the past decade, fighting against PlayStation. The Sony console has released a lot of exclusive game content, and Microsoft is ready to respond. Yeah, so uh, this is actually a pretty definite thing that's going to happen, in my opinion, um, especially with what we know has taken place here, right? Like I, I referred to previously. So I think that uh, if you're a, a Sony console player, you have to be prepared for this, okay? Um, you have to be prepared for the fact that your Activision games are going to start leaving Sony. They're going to become Xbox console and xbox subscription service titles and um not only that but you're going to start seeing a lot more blizzard stuff on the uh xbox platforms as well obviously because they're going to own very soon that uh company as well you know activision blizzard being uh, one company so um playstation's in a tough spot this is the thing in my opinion now i know a lot of people have gone well this acquisition should never happen it is anti-competitive here's my thing the entire time that i've looked at this look anytime there's an acquisition that takes place like this there's going to be some anti-competitiveness in it right inherently uh, you can't get away from that but you're talking about a gaming company if you're not look microsoft is huge but xbox has always been the low console player on the totem pole behind uh nintendo and sony and um Sony has, this has resulted in Xbox always having to find ways to remain competitive. And this acquisition kind of flips the script a little bit. And it, what it's going to do is it's going to have to push Sony into now playing the game that Xbox has played for so very long. Sony is going to have to find ways to do what Xbox has done. They're going to have to find ways to be creative and competitive in this new situation they find themselves in. So it actually is also going to prompt better competition in this realm of the gaming industry, uh, in my opinion. Again, I'm not saying that there aren't some downsides to it as well, but um, it does seem to me this entire time that Sony has tried to make this look uh, like it's a solely anti-competitive situation because they don't want to change the way they do business. They don't want to have to be the one that 
that is creative and inventive and finding new ways to to uh, appeal to an audience and things like that that Xbox has had to do for for a very long time. We'll see how they respond. <laughs> they've got they've got a task on their hands now, right? We'll see what happens.